everybody, this is Self and Aaron, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Part 21. Now, we have taken care of all the levels. We have taken care of Grunty's uh, game of Monopoly. I guess it. I, I guess. Anyway, now it's time to finally kick her ass. Um. So yes, we must traverse our way up to the top of her up to the top of her keep um but i always like to get this uh this extra life you know just in case you know and this will finish the last cauldron match of the game here is one of the last note doors of the game not the last we still have a couple more but those are optional uh before we take on this last puzzle piece no it's not over suit bear see my picture over there to fill it up is no mean feat. Lots of jiggies make it complete. Yes, we will have to take that on. And then, um, here's this. Uh, that's this is another one of those uh, gruntlings. I think I think they're called that you don't see uh, anywhere else in the um, anywhere else in the game other than here. And those are the only one. This and the other one that's right outside Click Clock Wood are the only ones that actually take two hits. Um, also, one thing to note is that you have these two doors here. Um, it is rumored that these doors are actually the doors that would go that would have gone to Mount Fire Eyes and and or Witchy World, which is actually supposed to be in this game. And um, yeah, well, enough about rumors. Um, wait. How do we... Oh, yeah, Z. I forgot how. It's sad to say down there you'll stop. Because I'm safe here at the top. Well, we're coming up. Well, anyway. <laughs> now we have four note doors here. And we will just take them out one by one. Each one of these have a full, uh, a, um, each one of these has behind it a, a, uh, a full item, uh, reload and, uh, all that good stuff. Oh, hey, I never noticed that, um, that, uh, honeycomb place right there, that honeycomb container out there. Never noticed that before, but anyway, um, didn't want to talk to you. This is Dingpot. This is Col This is um, Grunty's personal cauldron. And unlike the other cauldrons where they would just teleport us somewhere, he will actually blast us out of, blast us up and out, just like in uh, Willy Wonka and Chocolate Factory, in the Wonka Vader. If any of you, <laughs> please. If any of you ever remember that film, um, but pretty much, um, he is sick and tired of her uh, mistreating him, so he's going to help us. Um, so I really don't, I really don't want to talk to him. But apparently, uh, they kind of just hint at it that this, uh, this uh, potion or whatever that's in him. Uh, we'll blast us out of here because it's so potent or it's so bad or something like that. Now, here's... Really quickly, before going there... Um, this is our last, uh... Oh! I thought the egg and the red feather is switched in this. Anyway. Um, so yes. You have... You have, um... You have your three items, and now in here... In here is another... It's more, it's a, another puzzle P or puzzle. Yeah, puzzle. <laughs> but here you go. This is the final puzzle picture of the game. And this is our last health upgrade. So with that, we have our final health upgrade. We have our eggs filled. We have our gold feathers filled. And we have our red feathers filled. <coughs> we have everything gotten. We we are ready 
to kick ass and take names. So let us do it, shall we? Woo! I can't believe that furry pair got right up here. It's so unfair. But now the super bear must fight. This battle tests your skill and might. Now, this this fight can get a little bit annoying at times. Um, but the thing to just uh, just watch out for is in this uh, in this first stage of the fight, uh, we're waiting for her her um, oh what's it broomstick to run out of power. Pretty much, that's the only thing that we're waiting on right now. Um, also, one thing to note is that her attacks um, are one of these are her attacks. Uh, she tries she likes to try to bracket you so uh, she'll attack where where she thinks you'll be and uh, one thing to do is just to keep doing what I've been doing is just like fake her out and different things like that or like at least at least this part just roll and just get it just move out of the way as fast as possible um, oh. I think this may be the last. Yes. Run and hide, you won't get past. Oh, yeah. The only way to dodge this is just go into, uh. Go into, uh, gold feather mode, or invincibility mode. Um. Wait, how do I get the camera behind me? Come on. I just want a camera behind me. Thank you. Alright. Can I hold this behind me? Thanks. Someone? Thanks. Alright. Yes! And I can't believe she actually didn't even hit me. But, um, pretty much we're just gonna follow her around her, um, around her castle like this. And that's all we're gonna do right now. Oh shit. Oh! Almost had her. Almost had her. That's... Wow! I got her and I couldn't even see a damn thing. Um, so just really quickly, just want to check. Wow, I only took one hit? Oh my gosh! Alright, two... Uh, four... Yes, got her. All right, one thing to be careful of is whenever you jump up here, I've been really haphazard about it. Um, you just got to be careful because um, you you will slide when you jump up there. And she's really oh shit! I should probably grab uh, grab some health. No, 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 fire! No! God damn it. Shit. Well, let's try again. <laughs> I think it... I, honestly, it's just because I'm trying to do this quickly. I'm just trying to do this too fast. Because I know that her her uh, this fight can actually take a while but I really like it that she has this uh, um, I think it's just it's just like with this with just the Banjo Kazooie series I love it how it has like all the bosses have like this um, wow you suck try again kind of uh, kind of dialogue it's like oh you're back um, I really like that but um let's see here one thing one thing that I do want I mean this is I'm recording this before uh, E3 so this may have been shown at E3 may not have um, or may not it depending on if I if I'm able to upload this before uh, before E3 or not um, I don't know if this will be announced or not but anyway 
Um, there have been rumors that since uh, since Xbox uh, does not have a portable console such as 3DS or something like that, um, they have no problem with Rareware making a game for Nintendo for the 3DS. So there have been rumors that Banjo Kazooie or Banjo 3E uh, is going to come to the console uh, of the 3DS. So that is exciting. Um, let's see here. Let's... Okay. Keep waiting. Keep waiting. All right. Oops. Fire! Woo! Honestly, at this stage in the game, since we have like 200 eggs, don't worry about it. Wow, I'm doing a lot better this time than I did last. Uh, did I did I take a hit? No, I haven't. I have not. No, that's no, that's kind of surprising. In this one, shield. Fire! Get out of here. Fire! 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 Run. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. One more. One more. One more. Get out of there. Get out of there. Yes! Woo! Alright, let's just heal up and bottles will throw uh throw up this uh this flight pad. So what, what the objective right now is to, uh, is to, uh, beak bomb her. And what you want to do is be really careful because you can, you can potentially just, uh, really F yourself over. Um, another hit, I'm getting weak. Really <laughs> need to take a leak. Is that what she said? Oh, sorry, Granny. There's no, uh. There's no pausing in this fight. No, uh, oh, damn it. Shit. Uh, one thing to note, though, is that this music is fantastic for this boss fight. I really like it how... I don't know. It's just like... I guess Rareware can just... They can just do boss music. Their boss music is possibly some of the best. In, uh, maybe not in the industry. But they're pretty damn good at boss music. Uh, no, 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 no! Fuck! I'll be back. Alright, everybody, I'm back. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I game over. <laughs> I know that's really bad. Um, but anyway, uh, I jacked up, I jacked myself up on lives, so now I have a, a buttload, more than a buttload, <laughs> I have like eight, um, so anyway, uh, what I'm, shit, I'm, I'm deciding to play this as safe as possible this time around. Like, I'm going to try and not... What I was trying to do at first was that I was trying to do this as fast as possible. Try to take her on and take her out as quick and as easy as possible. Well, that's not going to happen. So, I got to really take my time and try to take her out and... Uh, uh, let's see here. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm trying to concentrate because this is like, I think after this, after this part, she really, um, uh, it really gets down to the last part of the fight. And, uh, I actually might have to cut this fight in two, uh, so that I can get everything like, um, Oh shit! Damn. 
um, so that I can, uh, uh, get, like, all the credits and all the ending of Banjo-Kazooie all in the one video and all that stuff, but, um, I've actually been recording for a while, so it all depends on- shit, I was trying to predict where she was gonna go, um, but it really all depends on, uh, how long once I actually edit this uh, once I edit um, all the stuff that I'm not going to show out and all and try to put in all the audio and all that stuff yes got her oh wait she's not done hit her again okay shit I think I have to get down on the ground, right? Yes. Oh, yes. This is the part of the, the part of the fight I was talking about. This is really the last part of the fight. Um and it's really like make or break time. Yes. And what I really like to do is that once you get one Jinjo, oh the first Jinjo does this cutscene to show you what they're doing. Um, so, since she likes to, uh, sh sh oh, god damn it. Get it. Alright. Come on. Yes. Oh, shit. Alright. While she's, uh, being, uh, preoccupied with one of them, what I like to do is just run or make or literally just run as fast as possible to the next one and then once you got all four then um then you'll see what happens yes broom defeated <laughs> but wait she's still alive who do we have oh, wait oh shit oh shit oh shit oh shit Woo! BAM! Alright. What do we got next? Oh, the mighty Jinjo Nader. A fellow Nader. <laughs> Alright. So, what we're gonna do is... Okay. Okay. What we're gonna do is... BAM! Is, uh, we're gonna fill him up, uh as much as possible and then actually I'm going to cut it uh, once once we get down to the the last porthole alright so uh, if you guys see more oh shit she's really nailing me now alright I want to just pause it okay if you if there's more after this then I'm just going to continue the episode. But if not, thank you all for watching. See you next time.